Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my in-flight essentials. We are fixing to go on a trip to Florida and I thought might as well pack my bag for you guys. <laughs> okay, so first let's start with my beauty essentials for the plane. So first and foremost, always have um, I love this little dude, but he's pretty inconvenient to carry around if you have a lot of other items in your bag. It's just kind of like round and right. I don't know. He doesn't fit with all my stuff. That's all I know. So I do love this Nivea. Um, it is the Nivea A Kiss of Mint and Minerals. It gives that right amount of mintiness without being too overpowering and it lasts a really long time. Let's see. Oh, time to buy some. I always keep lotion. I love this lotion. It is Tokyo Milk and it comes in this like super fancy like metally bottle, but it smells so good. Like I don't I can't even describe what it, it smells like, but it's heaven in a bottle. Paradise. Love it. So on a plane, I always want to make sure that I am moisturized and I'm taken care of because it gets really stuffy in those flights. And I don't know what's up with the air, but it's like stale almost. So I love to carry around these little guys. So it might sound silly, but anytime I see samples, I snatch them up. They're so convenient, they're so tiny. You can kind of mix and match if you have samples. You can have, you know, a hydrating one or one that you just like really like the smell of. Um, you can take a whole bunch of different lotions with you on the ride. Something that I cannot live without are makeup wipes, face wipes. Something to get the makeup off, the dirt, the oil. I need something to make me feel clean. I love these Burt's Bees, um, the facial cleansing towelettes with white tea extract. They smell really great and they just leave you feeling really refreshed after you're sitting in that air and next to someone else's juju, whatever. They just make you feel really good and clean. So if you wanna take it one step further, I will say that I am not the mask lady on the plane. They're a little terrifying. And sometimes I have to brace my husband when I walk into the room and I have one of these sheet masks on. But if you have a really long flight, you bust out your mask, girl. Don't feel ashamed to bust out your sheet mask. So this is my personal favorite brand, um, the Tony Moly. I'm real. I love this mask. It is a lemon brightening mask. So something about lemon, it's just a fresh, clean scent that kind of gives you a little perk up that you need. So I love this mask. Um, if I ever feel the need to bust it out, no shame, I'll totally bust it out. <laughs> just be sure to let the person next to you know so they don't wake up and like karate chop your jugular or something. It can be weird. Never know what you're gonna see on a flight and don't be afraid to be those people because your comfort is all that matters. On to the next. So let's get real here. So airport food can be a little hard on your stomach especially if you never eat fast food and Burger King's the only thing that's open like you don't have a choice like you gotta eat so I always 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 carry around Pepto-Bismol and Aqua Seltzer you don't want to be stuck on a plane with your stomach very very angry at you for eating Burger King a lot of times it doesn't go well for anyone there is no need to be ashamed this is a safe place we can talk you always are gonna wanna have these handy. Um, and I guarantee you the person next to you will appreciate that you have some Pepto-Bismol. 
you don't want to get stuck in your airport bathroom or locked in the plane bathroom because your tummy hurts. I always bring a toothbrush. You gotta get nothing fancy, just something to bring on the plane so that you can brush your teeth. There's just something so amazing after brushing your teeth. You feel like revitalized and clean. You feel like you can talk to the person next to you being like, Rrr. because you ate that airport food. I love to carry around this Evian. They make it in travel sizes and it is perfect for long flights. This is the facial spray. Um, it moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. So it's like this little spritz of loveliness. After you spray it, you feel so much better. You might not be able to get a shower or whatever, layovers. You know, it can get really stuffy and it can get really icky feeling on planes or in the airport. Okay, so this is terrifying to spray in your face. I don't know what it is about trying to spray something in your face, but it doesn't work out very often. So you just gotta point and shoot. That's it. You gotta brace yourself. Okay, now I'm terrified. Ah. Okay, so next let's get into comfort. You always wanna be comfortable on the plane. Um, I always wear something that is very comfy from the shoes to the socks to the pants to the top. I want to be comfortable. There's all these things about like looking so chic on the plane, this and that. Like nobody cares what you look like at an airport. You wanna be comfortable. Now, can you be comfortable and cute? Definitely. But is that something that's always really super high on my list? Nah, not really. I always make sure I bring a jacket because you never know when you're gonna be sitting next to a former Eskimo that needs those tiny little things on full blast and your hair is like <sighs> It's never fun. Don't be that guy. So this jacket is a simple Adidas pullover kind of jacket. It zips up and it has a hood. I always make sure I have a zipper um, instead of a full hoodie pullover because it's so much easier to get in and out of whenever you're squished in a seat next to somebody you might not know and you don't wanna get in their personal space, you want them to stay out of your personal space. You know, it's just easier. The hood is good to kinda of be that like recluse that you kinda of just wanna be in your own zone. You don't really care to chit chat that much. I love my neck pillow. So this neck pillow has kind of like a memory foam thing going on, which I love. So it's super comfy. I'm not normally one to use these things, but if you don't have it, you're gonna want it. So I always carry one around. This one's super soft. I got it at Marshall's for, I think like $9.99. Amazing buy. Love my neck pillow for comfort. You never know when you're gonna need it and you can kind of use it as a, a pillow or actually as a neck brace. Um, either way, it's gonna keep you nice and comfy. Always remember hair ties. Um, my hair is super short now, so I don't need them most of the time. Uh, but sometimes you just feel like your hair is just all over you. You just want to get it away. So hair ties are really great to have handy. They're super cheap, take up no room. So might as well have them handy so that you can pull back your hair whenever you want. Of course, always remember your charger. Um, I love to carry these around because they have the USB and the actual wall charger. So you never know if you're gonna be in the position to plug it into the wall or a USB. Some plans have USBs now that you can use. And um, if not, you can always plug it into your laptop or something like that to charge as well. Don't forget your earphones. I forgot my earphones on a flight not that long ago and I was miserable. It just blocks out all of the noise. Um, I love these the little ear thingies. 
because my ears are super weird and big. So they fit in like so. So they kind of just like hang on for dear life. And they're really like, they're not going nowhere. They're super comfy. These ones are not plastic. They're very squishy. So they're pliable and you can kind of mold them to however you want your ear to fit in them. Have your sunglasses so that you can always block out any additional sun that you may encounter like 20 rows ahead. The lady has her window open and it's reflecting off the computer screen that's reflecting into your eyeballs. These are mine that I just got from Tom's and I love them. They're super cute. They're super comfortable. I love that they do not have those nose piece things. Those really hurt my nose and are not comfortable. I have like the tiniest little nose in the world. And to sit on the bridge right there, those nose pieces hurt. So these have these plastic pieces that are way more comfortable and I feel like I can wear these forever. Plus they're really great for whenever you get off the plane and you need your sunnies. So thanks for watching guys. I will have all these products linked down below. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you guys carry on your flights. I always open to new suggestions and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Bye guys, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Is that everything? So. Oh, I don't know if you're supposed to shake it. All this cray cray. All this craziness. Yeah, I can't help but look at myself on that screen. Please make sure to bring a jacket. Where in the world is the top? Okay.